Now let's take a look at the shortcut that I've used and assign to the action button quickly. I'm gonna to tap to open, and we're gonna build the first half of this together. And then once we're familiar with the premise, we'll look a little bit quicker at the later sections. But the shortcut that we're gonna use, yes, it looks massive and long, but all of this is very simple. Don't worry about these unknown actions here. They're gonna be fixed when we come to look through it later. It's just a little bit of a bug at the moment. But lots we're gonna be covering. And everything here is extremely logical and you'll be able to swap bits out for the applications that you use yourself, as long as they have shortcuts support. Okay, I'll tap back here. And let's just start building an example to familiarize you with the concepts. I'll tap plus, and then up here, I'll just tap on the shortcut name and come down to rename. And let's call this Lee input example. Now I'll come down and tap on search actions. And this is a little habit I've got into. I'll just do it once in this video though, but I do like to add in little comments that tell future Lee what the actions do. So the first action checks if your device is face down, and if so, it enables silent mode. And this gives me great flexibility because I can still use this button to enable silent mode, but it's not restricted to just doing that because when it's face up, it can do other things. So how do we know if it's face up or down? Well, the action we need is get orientation. So I'll tap that. The shortcut has the orientation now, so what's it gonna do? Well, I need an if action. So if the result of get orientation is something, it's going to do something. So I'll tap here and choose the orientation that I want. So I'll want face down. Now we'll search for an action and we want to turn on silent mode. So set silent mode there. It's placed it at the top, so let's just move it. Now what I also do as a bit of a safety thing is I add in a stop shortcut action after this, just in case it accidentally starts doing any of the other bits that I place below. By saying stop shortcut, it ends it, it's done. Now for the otherwise, and this is where I would be building all of my text input actions later on. And we will be doing that soon. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to add a notification. Now I'll move this down. I don't want it to show the result of the get orientation variable there. I want to add in my own text. So if it isn't face down, I want it to say I'm face up. So all that will happen now is if it's face down, it will go into silent mode. And if it's face up, it's gonna show me a notification. But before that can happen, I need to assign the shortcut to my action button. So if you're unsure how to do that, it's quite simple. I'm in settings. So from here, I'll come down here to action button. And we can see the shortcut is currently set to is the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video, the big Lee input button one. And if I wanted to change this, I just need to tap and choose my new one here. So that's how to set the action button to a specific shortcut. Now we're back in the example that we're building and I've just removed the show notification if face up because I want to show the basics of creating the list of options that we can choose from if the phone is face up. And for this, I need to search for a new action. And this is a menu. And I want choose from menu. And I'm just gonna drag this down here beneath otherwise. Now it says choose menu with a prompt. So I need to add some text in here. It's going to ask me, what would you like to add? It's currently got two options in the menu called one and two. So I'll tap on one here. And this is going to be add OmniFocus task with OmniFocus being my main task manager. It's changed this text down here as well. And under here, I'll place the actions that need to be taken to add an OmniFocus task. Now for option two, well, this is gonna be add due task because I use the due application for real time critical things. Okay, what am I gonna see in this menu? Well, this mirrors my real life one, although I may well build this up a little more for capturing ideas for content because they currently go into drafts at the moment. But we have OmniFocus and due at the top. There's a reminder into the Apple Reminders app because I use a shared one with the family. There's drafts below that 
Then we have the journal application, which I want to start using more. And then finally, if there is a movie, TV series or game that someone recommends, I want to put that straight into SQL. Now, this is a work in progress. I do change it often, but I thought I'd show you how it looks at the moment. And of course, you can substitute these applications above for your own equivalent ones, as long as there are actions in shortcuts available for them. So let's work our way down. I need to add an OmniFocus task. So I'm going to search for OmniFocus, then tap OmniFocus up here. If I come down here, the one that I use is add action. And with that in, I just need to move it below here. So if I choose add OmniFocus task from the menu, what's it going to do? Well, if I tap here, Shortcuts needs to know what the text will be for the action. Now I could have set this up differently so that before you even get to choose from a menu, the shortcut would prompt me for some text and then it can send that text to whichever menu option I choose. But I've gone for a slightly more simple setup for this video whereby I just come here and select ask each time. So when I select add OmniFocus task, it's gonna give me a text field to add the action text. Now I could assign a project to this for it to always go into and leaving it blank, we'll put it in the inbox, which is what I want. And the same goes for tags here. I could assign a tag. So if I open this here, I've got more options that I can add directly. I could always flag the action or get it to ask for any of these properties below, or I can assign them directly here. But let's just close and test this out. My phone is face up, so I'll press the action button and my menu is there. So I'll add an OmniFocus task. Now I'll give the action a title, so just a simple one here. And if I tap done, I can come across into OmniFocus down here and there is my action. Okay, I've paused now and from this point in, I'm gonna pre-build these actions in the interest of time because you should know now why I have menus in and how to add them and how to search for other actions as well. So now when I tap add OmniFocus task, I'm actually gonna be presented with another menu, each of these options, which will do something different to the action that I add. So the first one, we'll put it in the inbox. Then the next one creates a high priority task. And the final one is for daily chores that I pick up as I go around the house. Now, of course, you can define different ones here that you know you're gonna to add to OmniFocus or your task manager regularly. So general inbox item, how is this set up? We've seen this one already. It's a direct replica of the one we had before. Now the high priority reminder, it's gonna ask me each time for the action text. It's still gonna to go to the inbox, but I've assigned it a tag, this high priority one. Simple, and it saves me assigning that tag when I process my inbox. And finally, we have daily chore. Now I do use this often. It adds the actions into a dedicated project and it assigns it a tag of maintenance. You can play about with the attributes though and configure lots of different types of actions. But let's long press the action button. My menu options are here, so let's add a daily chore. I've given it a prompt of what is the actions title. So clean out bins here. Now here's the project that the action should be in. If I come down to the bottom, I should see it. And there it is indeed with the maintenance tag. Thank you.